Okay, so the plan to replace the wand. I've already tried drilling it with a 0.3mm drill bit. That didn't work because it went the wrong way. Because the wand is actually at a different angle to the hand. So that didn't work. Um, so what I was thinking was I've done in the past I've made icicles um, using water effects and they give a nice kind of textured um, appearance and you just build that up over layers and I'm thinking something about something about that thickness may well work as a wand and it's easy to attach then so that's the plan um, so I'll, I'll take you through that Okay, so I'm going to go with a three-pronged approach. I'm going to use the, the acetate from a blister pack. For another one, I'm going to use some black thread. And for the third version, I'm going to use thread again, but it's invisible thread. I'm going to attach the invisible thread one to mine, my Dumbledore. And uh, I think you'll be easier to see on a a black thread and I'll try and colour the the water effect so we can see it on the acetate as well. Well it goes on it goes on white but it clears dry so it'd be difficult to see. So if I add a bit of agrax to it you can actually see the texture building up. That's the plan anyway. Wish me luck. Right, so what I've got um, from right to left we have the black thread. I've just glued it to this plastic strip. I'll explain the strip in a minute. This is the the blister pack that I've cut into like an icicle shape. And believe it or not, there's two there's two pieces of uh, invisible thread there that I've painted brown in because it's so fine you can just have, just about see it. Um, if you're not familiar with invisible thread, that's the kind of stuff you want, or just really thin fishing line if you know somebody who goes fishing grab some of that and what I'll do is when I make my icicles as you can see there I, I built this little thing but what I do I just hang it across for them you know when I add the water effects I just leave it there for them to dry and that's the way you build up the layers so I'll go and grab some water effects and I'll put the first coat on Okay, so this is the stuff uh, that I use, um, it's called transparent water or water texture. Uh, this is the stuff I use for uh, making gore and blood drops and, uh, and of course the icicles as well. So I'm going to add wands to that list if it turns out nicely. Okay, so I just use the stuff straight out of the lid with an old brush. I already put some on there, so I'll put this down in a minute. And stroke down and just let it collect and it doesn't matter if it's uneven because that's what you're after because most of the ones I've seen so far have got little notches and things in them the only thing is it'll take it a while to build it up over a quite a number of layers I think the the icicles take about six or seven thick coats and I don't really want to go that thick. Right, we'll see how it goes. And go thicker in some parts to create those notches. But we'll get an even one on first. Right, so it's just a case of adding it then to the to the frame or putting it somewhere for it to dry properly. So I'll just put it across there and wait. So I'm just starting the third coat now. Um, what you've got to be conscious of now though is the actual thickness that you're going for because remember you've got to fit it. Um, by where the fingers join so just by this coat alone I think we're looking at 
be using the invisible thread anyway. Apologies for the rain again, we've got uh, Storm Callum passing over. It's always raining in Llanabry. But we've got howling gales to go with it. So I think the third coat, I think we've got enough there because I'll just, if I bring in Dumbledore and I'll refocus. So we've got Dumbledore here and you think the thickness of the one, that's just, um, yeah, maybe just about right there with the threads. The acetate is a bit too thick. Visible thread, if anything, is a bit too thin at the minute, so you can afford to go a couple more layers on that one. But, uh, yeah, maybe we'll try the black thread version. But that's that's basically the gist of it. Um, what I'll do then is, when it's dry, I'll cut off... Um, I think it was about 5 mils long, the one, wasn't it? So it'll go a little bit longer than that, I think. <laughs> Just to make sure we can see it. And uh, we'll uh, try and fix it into position. And just to double check, I've actually got the piece that broke off and you can see the thickness of it. Um, so yeah, maybe that thread is a bit too thick and we'll end up going with the invisible thread, I think. It's just about the right thickness there. Right, hopefully you can see them uh, a little better now. I've given them a little bit of uh, white paint on there. I'm going to cut them off with a knife um, around about the length that I think they should be and then I'm going to glue them onto the hand. Okay so I've put a little blob of um, glue on the end of the, the wand area and I've dipped the end of the wand in glue as well. It's just a case of marrying them up like that. Um, the thing you need to consider before that is where you can actually rest it so it can dry properly. So I've prepared an area where he's, uh, the wand is point, pointing up into the air. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attach it and then <laughs> hope for the best. The glue that I'm using, by the way, um, is my quick drying um, PVA glue. It's lovely stuff. All right, wish me luck. Okay, so I, I dipped it in the glue quickly and because I left it about 20 seconds after putting the glue in and then uh, because it's quick drying stuff I think it's, it's quite tacky anyway and I've just literally picked it up now and it's staying in place so I'll wait for that to dry properly and uh, we'll give it a coat of paint and see what you think. So there's a bit of brown paint added to it. Um, one thing I would advise is either you fix it into place with super glue or if you strengthen the bond, if you use PVA glue, strengthen the bond with a bit of varnish or something, a bit of gloss varnish or even more PVA glue around the bond uh, area. Because um, mine's a little bit wobbly there. Um, but the good thing about the water texture is is exactly that. It, it provides texture to the, the structure and um, you know you can have as as many nobbles and notches on it as you want really. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, I might see you in the next episode. Cheers!